824 folks, welcome back to Good Day Columbia. We're talking designs, work, art, all from hundreds of talented artists and craftspeople, as you can see, <laughs> popping up from behind me. We're doing a little puppeteering here in Good Day Columbia, folks. A lot of artists are making their way to the capital city for an event that's been happening now for 29 years. Joining me, just some of the many artists that you'll get a chance to check out at the Craftsman Spring Classic, Lucy Moore and her daughter, Diana Moray. Thank you, ladies, for being here this morning. We have our own live studio puppet here. Now, what is this puppet's name? That's Before we Rupert. Start. Rupert. And he teaches them how to be street smart and backtrack. I and love it. This is Melissa, this is the mate, and she teaches them how to talk softly in class and be a lady, because ladies always talk softly, and she kisses fingers and teaches it. children how to be sweet and not raise their voices. I love, now, all of these puppets, we're talking about the Craftsman's Classics have been going on, and you are a family partnership. All these puppets you guys make. Right, we cut the patterns these. and make everything we sell. Wow, and I love that every, do all of them have like a little story? I think that's really My cute. daughter makes up she all the stories. The she story. used to do it for her child when he, she was in school. Now she just keeps it up. <laughs> How long have y'all been traveling and doing this? This is my 46th year to go to craft shows. Wow. And I do all mostly of Clyde's shows because he is such a good guy. Wow. We have a lot of good craftsmen out there that just travel and come to the shows, and it's always a good show. Everything's handmade. That's what I'm saying. How many places have, how many different places have you traveled with this show? Oh, he does a lot of shows. Wow. Roanoke, Virginia, and uh, Greensboro, where he's from, and uh, Richmond, Virginia. Is Columbia one of your favorite stops? Oh, yeah. I've been coming <laughs> here almost ever since they've had this wow. show. I've not missed many. A lot of people are excited about it. We've been talking about it a little bit on our Facebook page, getting everybody excited about it. Of course, my favorite one is the penguin. <laughs> everybody knows that I love I love, love, love Yeah, he gets a little hot down here. How long does it take to make one of these? I have no idea because I'll cut all okay. of them at one time and then make all the feet. And if you did one at a time, it would take you all day to do one. Got Most craftsmen are that way. This one is designed for up to two-year-olds can work it because the mouth's okay. already preformed. Even with a smaller child, you can roll it up a little. So, because gotcha. the mouth's so easy, they can put their fingers, fingers in it. it. And I've had from one and a half to two that can work that one. And it, the whole point of a puppet is to make it easy to work. Absolutely. So anybody can play with them. Why, I mean, why puppets? What, what made you guys decide one. to do puppets? <laughs> oh, we started with toys oh. and just because I like puppets gotcha. and I think they're real educational. This we did the whole alphabet in puppets and the numbers numbers and the shapes for one teacher. Oh, this wow. one but sucks I never his the market. toes. He goes, hello, <laughs> I love to suck my toes. I don't have fingers, so I suck, suck my, my toes. toes all the time. <laughs> but if you have fingers, I would like to kiss your fingers. Thank and that you. makes it so much better because the taste of your toes is just terrible. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> now, this one's one of the, the highlights. Yeah, and I she was gets just, her foot in her mouth. I was just saying, if this one's garnered in black at the show, it's going to sell pretty fast, I'm sure. She stares. I tell her it's rude. <laughs> <laughs> she has no manners. Well, folks, if you want to go to the Craftsman's um, Spring Classic, we actually have tickets right now on our website in our one contest. Um, some things you have to do, like us on Facebook in order to get an entry to win these tickets. But as soon as you go on there and log on, you're entried in there once for the Craftsman Classic, which is happening this weekend, the 2nd through the 4th at the State Fairgrounds. It's always a very fun event. Go by and check out Lucy and Diana. Thank you ladies so much for coming on this morning and puppeting around with us. And thank you for our live puppet right back yeah. here, Rupert. <laughs> he was great. <laughs>